Okay, and we are back in the workshop with the next project. After working with the fire prism, I decided I was going to go with the uh, Games Workshop Hemlock Starfighter Kit. Hemlock Wraith Fighter, let me get it straight. From, from their Eldar line. I'll be build, starting with the option of building it as a uh, Crimson Hunter Aspect Warrior. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different. Gee, what a shock. I'm going to take the Crimson Hunter Wraith Fighter, no, the Crimson Hunter Aspect Warrior, and use the fin from the hemlock to create what I would call a uh, Crimson Hunter Crimson Hunter Phoenix Lord. To understand what the Phoenix Lords are in the Games Workshop stuff, they're the first of each aspect warrior. Got parts in basically three sprues, if you can call the transparent sprue a sprue. Sprue number one has the main body of the plane and the wings. And then all the rest of the parts, including all the options for building either version of the fighter, are on the second sprue. Instructions are pretty straightforward with steps for both the Hemlock and the Crimson Hunter. They've got the base for the thing. Basically, the clear stand gets glued to the base platform, and then this cross piece would go into the belly of the fighter. Now, since I don't plan on using the, the, that base, I'm going to take this cross piece and glue it into the belly, which is provided for that purpose. Well, I'm going to shut this down and get started on the build. All right, much like the uh, fire prism that I was working on previously, this little guy is going together pretty quick. Got the filler in, and based off feel, most of that seems gone. Main engines are in, as are the intakes and the center weapon mount. The power core has been assembled and the seam is only minimal so I'm not too worried about it since that's actually the top and the sides won't be all that visible inside the construction. I have also got primer on the parts of the pilot and the cockpit and we'll deal with that when we hit it. All right, at this point, we've got the power core in place, as well as the cockpit. What I've done is I primed it with light gray, the pilot's arms and chest, as well as the interior cushioning, were painted in in red. The back of the chair and the pilot's legs and arms were done in the Vallejo dark gray primer. The headpiece actually just got a black wash over the, the gray of the plastic, but for what little you're going to see of it through the canopy, that'll work nice. At this point, oh, I've also got the uh, cover for the lower weapon in place. At this point, this thing's pretty much falling together. Next step should see a lot of where we are. I also have the wings assembled, complete with their weapon mounts. And I have trimmed down the large fin that would have been this whole thing here to something 
much more manageable. All right, what I said before about this being a very quick build is definitely proving out. At this point, construction is done. Canopy's in place, still needs to be masked. Weapons are in place. Wings are done. Excuse me. I have drilled a hole in the bottom here to use one of round two's round bases instead of the flight base. At this point, we are ready for the beginnings of paint. All right, we are in the spray booth and we have our coat of primer on. It's still drying, which is why it's shiny in spots. But what we've got there is a nice coat of flat black primer. After masking the canopy off, of course. Okay, as the paint process continues, we have one very gold fighter. Now, for the traditional Crimson Hunter, the underbelly would be white normally. But with this being a the Phoenix Lord, or the first one, I figured, no, we'll go with the gold. Still have to put a different color coat on the top, but we'll show that one when we get there. Okay, we are out of the spray booth now. As you can see, I've got the lovely gold underside, followed up by the candy red top side over the gold. At this point, we got detail painting that needs doing, and that's it. All right. Been meaning to do this for a little bit now, but at this point we're going to call the Crimson Hunter Phoenix Lord build done. At this point I've gone in, the lighter areas were painted in with the light gray primer, the almost black areas are the Vallejo dark gray primer. Same with the stuff on the nose here. The engines were painted in with the dark gray primer, followed by a coat of gun metal. Same go for the guns. The guns were also dry brushed in copper. The gems were all undercoated in gold. There we go. They were all undercolded in gold and then painted over with a purplish ink. Apologize for the base getting in the way of that shot. The Crimson Hunter glyph was hand painted on both wings. As you can see, it actually turned out really sharp. I was pleasantly surprised. I was also surprised at how quick it went together. I'll put some stills at the end of this, and I'll thank you for watching.